Good evening, good morning. Hey everyone. Uh, but as you can see, I'm downloading the new 1.60 Days Gone, which stays viewed within across the world around the 16 hour span of when I've gotten this. So it could have been live for a few hours, if not more of a handful, but it's brand new. And we're gonna get to the patch notes. So this is your boy Mac, saying let's get to it. As you can see, I already have the convenient Reddit post that I'll have posted down below as well that you can get to the written post of that as well as we will be debuting as well the install and seeing what the PlayStation offers for as far as the patch and how you can download that as well inside of this video. So stay tuned, let's get to the news and let's see what's changed. One important factor to get into this is that they say it's their final patch is here and is bringing the options to reset jobs, new bike decals and tanks on top of the situation of general improvements and optimizations across the game. Now, one thing I will pause between this patch is that I did do a comprehensive test with doing Liquid Metal Pro on a, I say pro, but it's like Liquid Metal on a physical portion of the testing portion. And I'm like staring over at my PlayStation because it's like running so smooth and so quiet. I'm like, man, if it was like yesterday, that thing would be like huffing and puffing. But that's the point is a lot of the frame rate issues were kind of solved a little bit through that. But you can watch that video in its own entirety. But I did want to point out that this seems like an issue that it's more of the APU that's overheating with what the way that they're pushing the game. So hopefully maybe they down tune that so maybe it will function well, but let's go ahead and get back to the fashion house to see what they changed. As you can see right now, not too much time left. We should be able to get to like the physical patch install. And back in the land of the news, with the living dead being the walking print, we have now the situation of what's going down for, I guess that once it finished, uh, no Man's Sky, damn that thing trucked. I have two patches I have to grip for. But looking past the 14 gigabytes that my PlayStation 4 is installing right now, what it is installing is the reset of the hordes, the ambush camps, and the infestation zones. The options to reset the hordes and the ambush camps and the infestation zones is now live. The players can now fully reset all the open world hordes, infestation zones, and ambush camps so that way that they can make the game a little bit more lively if they're trying to just, you know, scout around and make it more harder and more optimizationable of what the game used to be when you first tippy-toed into the world of Deacon St. John. But there are a final um, few conditions that need to be met for you to be utilizing these features. So don't get too um, happy, you need to get these situations. A, you need to complete the story for an outlaw biker. Have any of the storylines for Horde Killer? Ambush Cave Killer and the Infestation Exterminator at 100% complete. These can only reset if they are completed within 100% of the storyline, which makes completely sense because that means you would have wiped the store completely clean with this in order to physically get that back into what's the gameplay. Now let's go ahead and see what the install looks like real quick. We'll take a pause with the notes. I'm using a scene to both now No Man's Sky and now it's copying over directly for as far as the 1.60 that Days Gone has now patched into, which is huge. I mean, I'm hoping that there'll be drastic improvements. So if you do happen to have any comments with the experiences that you're experiencing with this one or great tribulations that have gone to now a great situation of triumphs, drop a comment down below. I'd love to hear what your experience have been with this. But let's go ahead and get back to the news as it seems like it's copying over some stuff real fast. Now, as we talked before about these resets and 100% of what you needed to get directly into, how to reset these hordes, ambush camps, and infestation stones. To ensure that you've met the conditions above, load your save game, hit the option, go to reset the jobs, select the jobs you wish to reset within that situation, now that you can reset the jobs as many times as you would like. Now, for as far as the Death Stranding bike, tank and more as they get into as they dropped into and i had to get to this patch note be just because the simple reason was i was just about to play death stranding but then i saw this and i was like you know what i gotta be true to the community out there in the world they want to know the news as you can see that the creators took this chance to go with a final patch which was very well orchestrated within the launch of this update which is very cool so let's go ahead and get back to the news what you do get is the Death Stranding tank, the Death Stranding BB tank. Both tanks can be acquired only from the Diamond Lake mechanic. 
Death Stranding's decal and Death Stranding BB decal. Decals can be acquired from any valid mechanic. BB standard for as far as the base. The frame paint can be applied from any valid vendor. So the only one you need to worry about, therefore, is the tank. Therefore, going to the diamond situation. Now, Black Friday changes as they come into there. We have increased the amount of Freakers ears in the cost to uh, repurchase weapons and ammos. Due to a score error that occurred, we have done a one-time reset only for Black Friday leaderboards. We do not expect to reset the leaderboards in the future. This plans to happen within the 8th, which is going to happen today, 8 a.m. on Pacific Standard Time. Remember and remind that all the DLC challenges will release our plan to stay unlocked indefinitely. Now going to us in the general fixes of what we've come to see, and it is a list that you and guys and gals will love to see because there are a lot of general optimization and will fix as we get into there, but crashes on top of the audio adjustments. The ammo counter should now display in the intended in certain challenges. The UI should remain shown as is intended during the bike chases. The infestation nest should repopulate properly if the player is killed. The weapon stats at the mechanics should show the correct stats for each weapon as well as the situation in the new game plus and the skills up the ante will now provide more ammo capacity for the six millimeter on the bnd 150. the challenge reload score has been readjusted as well as were the certain trophies progress and should be transferred correctly when starting the new game plus a specific character has finished their work at the Cloverdale Research Facility and has made their way to Iron Mike. Understand what they just put that inside of there. This is an Easter egg, if I had to take a wild guess. A specific character has finished their work at Cloverdale in the research facility. So. Go visit Iron Mike, see what's up with that. Known issues with the 1.6. <clears throat> For the mission, nothing but ease. The helicopter lights are not shown properly. Accessibility feasts. And the UI Hong contrast situation of the color mode. In the push of the accessibilities, we have added the UI color mode to help the visibility of contrast in certain HUDs and the elements in the days gone. When enabling the high contrast, certain key HUD elements on the screen will swap colors and palettes to become easier to see and more visible during your gameplay of days gone. New linear options inside of the aiming as well as the situation. Some of the requests have been put a linear input in the curve for the aiming, and we've heard you. They have honestly committed to the camera movement more to one to one as the right input instead of utilizing the input range of the smaller aim and adjustment you will find in the settings inside of the general optimization of the options to gameplay to dead zone sensitivity to linear and ladies and gentlemen that would put us directly at the very tail end of our patch as you can see the playstation didn't really offer anything but your boy mac did and if you've enjoyed this news you can always subscribe absolutely free today it helps me as a creator and costs you nothing it's pretty cool. And who knows? Maybe if you subscribe, I will gather all seven Dragon Balls and summon Shenron. He's almost there, but Gogeta or Vegito, whichever one they pick to utilize, is guarding it. So I need another set of Dragon Balls in order to counteract that. But everyone, you have a very nice day. And all subscription humor aside, thank you very much for spending time with the channel. And see you guys and gals in the near future. Hopefully for minute patches from this, but this is probably going to be the final one for Days Gone.